General Keith Kellogg, you talk about a guy who's good with numbers and patriotism and, and saving lives, uh, kind enough to join us right now. General, if I could go back to all of this money being spent, I don't want to sound penny addish here, but uh, yeah. I worry when the numbers get this high, whether it's all going yeah. to the right place to you. Yeah, Neil, thanks for having me. Yeah, I, I do. I'm, I'm with you on this. Look, I think we've given a lot. And when you look at the numbers, th that's an incredible number, considering that Europe's only given about $8 billion. And I would kind of, if I was advising the president, I'd say, okay, this is the last time we should do this. Now we should turn to the European alliance and say, okay, you need to kick in a little bit more. Germany, you need to kick in more. UK and France. We've given a lot. And we've really drawn down our military supplies as well. You know, we supply the Ukrainians, the best as we know, 10 javelins for every one tank the Russians have got. That's an enormous number, especially when you've got a probability of kill for a javelin is one to one. So I think this should be the last time that we say, okay, we're going all in for this number. Now we need to sit back and see what others do as well. You know, um, uh, I was looking forward to pick your brain on, you know, the victory day in, in Russia, General, mm -hmm. and, and uh Everyone was afraid that Vladimir Putin was going to either announce an outright war, even though it's been a war, uh, and, and really up the ante yeah. here. He didn't. He seemed to stumble his way through acknowledging the greatness of that moment. But I wonder if he reminded Russians that this ain't that moment. Yeah, Neil, look, I, I'm probably in the minority in this one. And, and look, I'm, I'm looking at his speech, and I read his speech about five times. And he mentioned Donbass five times, never even mentioned Ukraine. And the way I read it is not only what he said, which is important, but what he didn't say as well. He didn't talk about mobilization of the reserves uh, and br building the forces up. And I'm thinking maybe what he's trying to do is say, OK, let's try to figure a way to get out of this thing because it's not going well for the Russians. And who's going to be the interlocutor? Because eventually you're going to have to have these both sides sit down and talk and talk their way out of it. And I'm thinking maybe we're reading this a little bit wrong hmm. and maybe we need to approach him and say, how do you get out of this thing? Because he's clearly not going to win this fight. Ukraine will survive as a nation and he's got his hands full. He's, his army has been badly hurt uh, and his leadership has been badly flawed. And I said, well, let's look at it a little bit differently. At least that's what I would do. Let's find out. Let's find someone and find out. Is there an opening here to at least sit down between Zelensky and Putin and start talking about it? I just wonder where that would go and how Russians would respond yeah. to a, an outcome that is nothing like when he sees Crimea. He seized it, got it, kept it and survived the body blows after it here. Uh, I don't know if it's that simple or he even comes up with that as a victory. Well, he's going to have to explain it away because yeah. it sure wasn't what his first plan was. But uh, he's trying, I think, to say, well, we've got the Donbass region. And that's the reason why when he talked about it in the speech, when he mentioned it five times more than any other thing he mentioned, it was always about the Donbass. I said, OK, maybe there's an opening here. And Zelensky made that comment about three or four weeks ago when he actually talked, if you look at his words, well, maybe we'll give you a trade. We'll get the Donbass back and you keep Crimea or something like that. Of course, right now, Zelensky's not giving in and neither is Putin. That's where you need to find somebody out there, an interlocutor, who can say, how do we get this thing and stand this thing down? All right. We'll watch closely, General. Thank you very, very much. By the way.